Welcome everybody, welcome. My name is Doth Joker Cutem or the DJ Scene. Today we're getting back into Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Wrath of the Druids. Now, today, um, last time we finished the main mission, at least I thought we did. Turns out if you go to your quest map, there's part one of the cost of betrayal. That's called Wrath of the Druids, chapter one. That's still going on that one. And then there's already a part or chapter 2, The Strength of Danu, which is another offset mission here. So, in honest truth behind it, we still have a lot more to go in this game. So we're going to continue with Cost of Betrayal because it's chapter 1 still. And we're going to see where this goes. And we're going to see where the Amber Sun goes. Now, unfortunately, we're probably not going to be able to get into much of those today. I am making this a real quick video simply because, well... I do have to go back to work today, and I thought we were done with the missions. Turns out we are not, we are not done. Um, so, uh, you know, in, in my nearsightedness and hope for the ending that we did not receive, we are now doing this, which is okay which we will continue going through this and apparently there's a, a whole big update that happened which was another reason why I was waiting waiting to get back into the game um, yes yeah, this, this ah, is, is gonna be crazy my good friend. there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna do a lot of new stuff that we're gonna get into new riches. there's a lot of stuff we gotta finish so we're gonna be doing a lot of that in the next couple days because as I said we did not finish the Ireland chapter of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There's also new challenges, which I wanted to show you that also Another before time. we got back into this game. Um, I'm going to go back to the main menu. There's mastery challenges. Uh, are you ready for the mastery challenge? Visit shrines across England to test your skills in combat, range, and stealth with the new mastery challenge, free game mode. Score points to unlock unique rewards, including weapons, tattoos, decorations, and more. Now, obviously, we're not going to be doing that <clears throat> here. That's a mastery challenge, unless you want to see some mastery challenges. If you want to see a mastery challenge, go ahead and hit F in the comment section. And if I get three Fs, not by one person. Three commenters all saying F in the comment section. We will do a video on the mastery challenges. Um, apparently I have a new new gift here. It's the Basim outfit. Yes, that, that does say I'm a level 35 for the Ubisoft there. You're probably not seeing this on your screen, and that's okay. I wouldn't be upset about that. Um, I'm just going in here to collect Basim's reward here. Um, Basim outfit free. Get it now. I've got it. So it should be there when we get back in. Are you guys ready? We're going to see if Basim's outfit is in our inventory. Should be. Yep. I think we got it. We do. We have Basim's outfit. Uh, these are cover skins. That's all they are. They're not... Um, literally, with the armor I have on now, if I wanted to be Bayek, I could be Bayek. But I would still have my armor on. Um, or not. Apparently it takes that midsection part out. I have Altiers. See? And now we have Basim's. So we got three cover skins. Um, we're going to go back and grab my armor that I've been wearing. If... Oh. Well now. There you are. But yeah, we did get that. It's always fun to get some extra stuff. Apparently, I have a mastery point we did not spend in the last... Whoa, wait a minute. There are new branches to follow. 
I'm gonna drop this mastery skill real quick. Oh, looky down here. I have that one already. So we have this one, which is unstoppable. While in combat, Ivor Sprint becomes unblockable and knocks enemies back at a cost of stamina. That sounds cool. Probably use that a couple times. Should be another one way off here. Yep, there it is. This one is Shield Master. Oh, wow. Ivor automatically rotates to block incoming attacks while holding the shield. That's cool. That's definitely going to be useful. And we have... Mounted Archer. Now, I do this... Okay, we could use the bow abilities. Now, that wasn't something we could do before, but now that we can, that sounds pretty cool. Looking forward to getting into that. And I know these are going to branch out like this one did at the next DLC drop, which is going to be cool, because apparently they wish to fill this all in. And there is a lot of space to fill in here. And also, we don't know um, what's, in, what's in store for Ivor after this game because they find him in Vin they find her him in Vinland the corpse in Vinland so that means that at the end of this they travel back to the new world which is going to be cool but are they going to continue a story for that or are they going to have a different idea for that that uh, seems like it's going to be really interesting this is available <clears throat> I'm just I'm really looking forward to all of this seems like there's a lot of really cool stuff that we can do Smart to buy these. Oh, I do have some stuff I can sell. I Look have at that. For this. But it looks like we're going to have a lot more left to do in this one. I don't know why these are not where I put them. They should have been in the Huntsman armor and the Galagok armor, but that's okay. Nothing more? But yeah, um, when we get into back into the gameplay, um, we're gonna have a lot more things that we can do here and, and accomplish. Um, I'm still on a quest to make all my items gold, which I know there's a lot of people that are pulling runes and going back and spending money to to down crease items so they could upcrease other ones or increase other ones. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna stick straight with everything becoming gold. Um, because that's May I see a that's how I am. If it's not gold, it's not worth my time. And I have all this stuff in my inventory, so I might as well make it all gold, right? See, there's a lot in there. I don't have much left um, in terms of needing nickel ingots, which is cool. Because nickel turns it from red to blue. All I really have are my bows, my last couple bows here. Uh, so we're going to go with this one this time. So that means we now have three items left, which is a total of nine uh, nickel ingots to get everything into blue. And then from blue, we will continue into the gold on the weapons, which it takes three per weapon. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, a lot. I'm not even going to count that. We're going to need a lot. And it's going to be well worth it. I, must um, my way. I was debating whether or not I was going to do the French DLC, um, the sacking of France, but because these aren't getting very many play, and that's fine. Uh, I don't care if they get play or not, it, you know, as long as one person watches a little bit and is like, hey, that's a good idea, that's a great idea, it's pretty cool. Um, I want to continue with this, especially because it is a game about Vikings and you are my Vikings, my wolves. So, we are going to continue with the DLCs, and eventually I'm going to go back through, restart the game. Brand new character, off rip, off base, no skills, no tactics, no nothing, and we're going to play the story mode the whole way through. Um, other than that, I think we're going to be pretty good. I think this is going to end the video for today, just a quick announcement. Um, and I also want to say, to the man that gave me the idea to start this in the first place, 
Corey Kenshin, man, has reached 10 million. He has his diamond play button. Congratulations to Corey Kenshin. Um, whether you decide to retire fully from YouTube or do a video every now and again or, or you know, put yourself in, you know, other videos for, you know, your friends or whatever, I just want to say that I've had an amazing time on your journey. I'm glad to be a part of it. Um, me and my daughter found you when you were recording your Detroit Become Human. And since then, everyone in the house, my house, my home, all seven of us have become huge Corey Kenshin fans. Uh, you're an amazing guy. You've done an amazing job bringing video games and, and, and Spooky Scary Sunday and just being in our households. Like, you're an amazing guy. Your videos are amazing. And I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to be a part of your your journey um, so if you guys don't know who Corey Kenshin is by now you definitely need to go to Corey Kenshin's page look him up man add another couple million to him he's an amazing guy his games are amazing I'm pretty sure everyone by now has seen at least one of his videos uh, yeah but I appreciate it I will see you guys in the next one